Hey statue collectors, the Mad Titan has entered the secret sanctuary. Let's see if I can fit him through the door. Before we get to the statue, I wanted to give you guys a look at the box because I think they did a really good job on it. Really nice image of Thanos on the front. Here's the top. Side. The back. And the other side. The shipper uh, is pretty big too. It's 25 inches by 26 inches by 28 inches. It will not fit through the door to the secret sanctuary. So I'll be br bringing it in piece by piece. All right, here it is all opened up. Two layers, as you can see. I really thought this would be end, end up being two boxes that they were uh, pretty clever about how they sectioned everything off. As you can see, this is the top layer. The top of his throne goes through the top layer. Very clever. All right, I wanted to show you the throne on its own first, just because the detail is crazy and uh, I didn't want a Thanos blocking your view of some of this really intricate detailing. I saw this piece in San Diego in July, and I think this production run is matching the prototype as closely as I've ever seen. It's just nutty how much detail there is on this piece and how well it's been reproduced. Try to get close. And I will spin it. One thing about this piece, it really deserves to be on a turntable. I don't know how you guys are planning on displaying yours, but to hide all of this against a wall or the back of a bookcase would be a crime. I hear he does not fit in a Besta. Um, he will fit in a stuva, but only if you position the statue so you're looking at it straight on. And when you do that, um, it's not a very visually appealing uh, presentation for Thanos because he's essentially looking left, right at the left wall of the bookcase. So um, he's beckoning threateningly at a bookcase wall. So uh, PAX might be the way to go if you're uh, displaying your statues that way. I like to have mine out in the open. I display most of mine on the top of bookcases. I don't like to have any separation from my statues, and I like them to look like they're interacting. So I don't like any separation between them either. So that's the throne. Okay, here he is on the throne. Uh, before you continue, you might wanna apologize profusely to Lord Thanos for inserting that rather large key into his backside. Didn't look very comfortable. And then you can go with the first armrest, which goes right here. Nice strong magnet. Then the other armrest. there. Feels good and strong. Here's the gauntlet. Um, I didn't see batteries in the box, so you might want to have a couple of triple A's around the house, which I did, luckily, from Christmas. Lights up pretty good. Actually, it looks really nice. And the um, the battery holder here is actually the key to 
attach. All right, that was four portraits. I'll start with the regular or collector's edition portrait. And there he is, the Mad Titan. Looking huge, my buddy. Now, as for the exclusive portrait, that is the one bummer. It's a great portrait, no doubt about it. But I do have a small chip right there. It's, it's very small. I don't think I'm going to do anything about it. Maybe touch it up myself or maybe leave it alone. It is, it is visible even when the portrait is inserted, which is a bummer. But overall, it's such a magnificent piece, it's hard for me to, to quibble too much. I do expect a perfect piece from Sideshow, especially for $1,200. So it would have been nice if someone had caught that in quality control. But I don't see any other problems. I know there was a, a guy on Facebook who saw some early photos. Actually, it might, he might have been using the uh, production photos from the Sideshow site. And uh, he was circling different defects he'd found on the statue. I'm not seeing any of those. It's, it's a remarkable piece. I think you guys are going to be pretty darn excited. All right, let's do some close-ups. Here he is in all his glory. So um, we first got a hint of his release on Christmas Day 2016. It was part of the 12 Days of Sideshow. It was day one, Christmas Day. And all we got was an image uh, of the gauntlet. It was a different arm than what's actually included with the statue. So people were a little upset that that uh, arm was not included. Let's get the money shot here. Yeah, sort of badass. I'll give you a close up of that little tiny paint chip. It is frustrating, but call it battle damage, I guess. Look at that. That is something else. Not sure where I'm going to put them. Definitely the largest statue I purchased to, well, you know, Batman uh, Dark Knight Returns was bigger, I suppose, taller anyway. That one, unfortunately, I had to part with. This one I think I'll keep, but I think he's gonna need his own uh, pedestal or something because he won't fit on top of my bookshelves like my other pieces. Texturing is amazing. We've come to expect that, mostly from Prime 1, but Sideshow has matched them here. Texturing is insane. Paint looks real good, except for that one tiny chip. I like the aging that you see here. It's just not gold colored. It's like an oxidized gold. Shows you that he's been around for a while. He's been through some wars. Very nice. Let's switch portraits. Okay, here's the collector's edition portrait. And I gotta say, if you guys missed out on the X because it sold out in 12 minutes, 
and uh, you ended up with the collector's edition, you should still be thrilled with this statue. Uh, the, the collector's edition portrait, in my mind, is almost more intimidating than the exclusive. He's, he's pretty teed off here. He looks pretty pissed off. And I wouldn't want him summoning me with that expression. I really wouldn't. It's nice. Try to get real close. One thing I prefer about this portrait is how it flares out more. I think it looks better. I wish the exclusive flared out in the same way. And I turned it around when I showed you just the throne, but let's show you uh, from the back with Thanos sitting. Love this detail. People were kind of shocked at the price when this was first announced. But, you know, could this really have been a $500 or $700 statue? There's just no way. There's just too much going on here. The bulk, the detail, the paint application. I'm not saying it should have been $1,200, but you know what? It seems like the money is all in the statue. Okay, just a few final thoughts about Sideshow and quality control. It's been an interesting week for them, starting off with the release of photos of the Batman versus Superman Wonder Woman statue and the disastrous portrait on that piece. Really, really pretty horrendous. So um, some people have been talking about having that portrait repainted by a professional painter. Other folks are saying that won't work, that the problem is with the sculpt. Uh, so Sideshow's been busy handing out refunds of NRDs and uh, even Sideshow points used towards that Wonder Woman statue. Then we come to the end of the week and we have the release of Thanos. And I don't think we're gonna have too many returns on this guy. Um, it is a complex piece executed very, very well. And I think they're going to have a lot of happy customers with this one. Uh, it's selling pretty well on eBay. The exclusive seems to be going for uh, about twice of its original price, around $2,500, sometimes as high as $3,000. Uh, I don't like to flip pieces myself, but I can understand why somebody would want to make uh, $1,300 to $1,800 on a statue. So. Um, I don't blame them, to be honest. It's just too much money uh, to pass up on in some cases. So um, Sideshow has hits and they have misses. This one's a hit. So I think you'll all be very, very happy. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me if you think I should call Sideshow about that tiny paint ship or just live with it. So I'll see you guys on Facebook. I'll see you on Statue Forums and Sideshow Freaks. Have a great night, and if you're getting this one, it's a winner. You're going to love it.